Hello everyone, I'm Michael Phillip, your physical therapist, who in this video is going to be covering conservative treatment options for those suffering from lower back pain. Now in previous videos, we determined the best ways to protect your back, the types of lower back pains, and the symptoms that can affect people with lower back pain. However, if you're suffering from lower back pain, you probably just want to know how to get rid of it. So in this video, we'll talk about the various conservative treatment options that are available. And then in another video, we will cover more invasive treatment options. The good news is that if you're suffering from acute pain, most studies show that you should expect a full recovery within two weeks to three months. However, if you have experienced chronic back pain for greater than three months, radiating symptoms down either leg, or you've had several episodes of lower back pain over the course of three years, unfortunately, your prognosis is not as good. But that also doesn't mean you're condemned to a life of pain forever. Now, onto those conservative treatment options. First, you have ice and heat. For acute injuries, ice is commonly applied to reduce inflammation and swelling in the area. This occurs usually for up to 48 to 72 hours after the injury or pain begins. If muscle spasms or soreness are the primary complaint after this time period, then heat is usually applied to reduce muscle tone and improve circulation. Then you have pharmacological treatments, which include medications and injections. Pain medications can help reduce your pain and improve your function. There are various pain medications that are not all the same. They vary in strength and the way they go about decreasing your pain. So, if one doesn't work, speak with your doctor about alternatives. They should help decrease the pain immediately, but should be only used for a short period of time. Side effects can include drowsiness, decreased reaction time, impaired judgment, and potential for addiction. Another type of medication prescribed is muscle relaxers. With back pain, most types the muscles surrounding your back will tighten and cause you consistent, dull, achy pain. Muscle relaxers can help with this, but can also cause fatigue, so are most often advised to take at night to help you sleep. Now, a step up from those medications are injections. The most popular medication injected for lower back pain being cortisone. This is a strong anti-inflammatory medication that is injected directly into the site of inflammation. It decreases pain by reducing the inflammation in the area but its effects vary greatly from patient to patient. Some experience no relief, others will feel complete resolution of the symptoms within several days of the injection. And most often, with any of the above options, you will also be prescribed physical therapy. Physical therapists are musculoskeletal experts who will spend time getting to know you, the cause of your lower back pain, and tailor a program specific to you to ensure a speedy recovery from your pain and reduce the likelihood of reoccurring episodes. Treatment by a physical therapist can involve many approaches that are often used in conjunction with each other. And research studies have shown that patients who receive physical therapy treatments combined with one or more of the above have the highest success rates and recover quicker than those that do not have physical therapy. When you see a physical therapist, he or she has a variety of conservative treatment options that they will use. Exercise and manual treatments are the most common used physical therapy treatments. However, they also have other options depending on the cause and severity of your pain. So, make sure and check out my video on physical therapy for back pain that will dive more in depth into those specific treatment options. As you can see, there are many non-invasive options regarding treatment for your lower back pain. I would always suggest beginning your recovery with the least invasive treatment option first, even if you have severe symptoms. Your physical therapist and doctor can then coordinate a treatment plan and determine when to use more invasive treatment options if the conservative treatment options are not working for you. I hope this video helped give you a better understanding of some of your options if you're suffering from acute or even chronic lower back pain. But make sure to check out our other videos on back pain. Till next time.